maybe just uh, tell us, talk us through how you're feeling knowing you have to wait another week to take on the doctors. Mm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, another week, this is something that we weren't really expecting that much, but um, I guess, like, it's something that's out of our control and I know that um, everyone's keen to, like, make the most of this week leading in, even me as well, like, um, I think it's another opportunity to like take our game and sharpen up our skills ready for um, that final to come. So um, yeah, we're just doing our best to like prepare for that time. So it can be an advantage in a way to really help us to like even reach our full potential to the end. What's Doc's message been um, about how best to cope with the extended break? Because obviously you're meant to be playing this week, um, but what's what's his message been? Uh, basically, like, because it's out of our control, like, just controlling what we can and, like, uh, keeping a good attitude while doing it because, obviously, like, many emotions, many thoughts can be going inside of us. But, um, like, this is the chance where elite teams will, like, really stand up. So, like, going focus for this week is, like, train as hard as we can um, while doing it and then just leading up into the finals like that. So, obviously, like, everyone on the same page, doing what we can for each other just so that we can be ready for when that finals does come. So you're not worried at all about, you know, momentum being stopped? Um, and how do you kind of make sure you keep in that game style mentality? Yeah, like momentum's a big thing leading up into finals, but um, Doc's been like saying, like pushing us hard for this week. Basically like we're in like a game sense scenario. So maybe even like, um, like our trainings have been pushed up a level Maybe play a few trials against each other, like just to maintain that um, focus and momentum. Um, but it's something that we can't really do much about. So we're just doing what we can um, while we have this opportunity. Yeah. And then just quickly, if I can ask you personally about your season mm -hmm. this year, um, how have you found it? What are you enjoying about your footy? How do you think potentially you've grown on the footy field this year? Hmm. Uh, with my footy, I think like for this year, uh, our girls have been really, the culture has been amazing, to be honest, for this year. And I think it's brought us closer together. Um, a lot of the girls have debuted as well. So there's been plenty of opportunity for everyone. Um, of course, there's been up and downs, but everyone is just like on the same page for this year, I feel. And for me personally, like playing different roles have been a bit more in the midfield compared to other seasons. So that's been a good opportunity. But just being with the girls, especially playing with my sister as well, I think that's um, what makes footy fun. And obviously winning games together um, makes it even better. I was going to ask you about playing with Hannah. Uh, what maybe give us a highlight of this season? Um, you know, when, when you two are in packs, can you just sound each other out without even really needing to know where the other is? <laughs> um, in a way, yes. We did that a lot when we played together in sample. Um, and I think the best part is that when we're both tackling someone and then we don't realise we're there, then when we get up, it's like, oh, it's my sister with me as well. So I think that's what people enjoy, um, just seeing us go hard for the ball and um, bring that tackle pressure together. I think that's what, especially our family as well. I think bringing the family in it um, has made it even better. Yeah. Fabulous. Thanks, Rochelle. No worries. All right, Tom from Channel 9. Hi, Rochelle. Um, I just wanted to ask you, I think Erin has announced that she's, it was in the paper today, that she's going to be living uh, in a caravan, I think, to try and make sure that she doesn't get sick over the next few weeks. Um, what do you, I, I guess, two-part question, what do you think about that? And um, are you taking any measures to try and make sure you can stay COVID-free, etc.? Hmm. Yeah, Erin in a caravan, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, obviously, like, we need to be careful during this period because anything can happen with COVID, um, being able to protect ourselves. So of course, we're just taking our um, protocols, whatever measures we can, because um, just missing out on a final because of, like, con close contact or COVID wouldn't be great. So even for me, I still have to go to work, um, but my boss understands. So we just, like, wear masks and, like, keep our distance, especially in the office. Um, some girls taking leave or just not going out, just protecting ourselves so that when we are in finals, like everyone is fit, everyone's ready to go. Yeah. Uh, Rochelle, just about, you know, is the extra week off, is it a bad thing or a good thing? Uh, okay, yeah. So obviously like 
advantages and disadvantages for both. Like you can, of course, we can lose momentum going in, but it's not something that we really want to like dwell on. We're just like thankful that we can even continue with the season because like AFL has done a lot to help us and also like Collingwood and Brisbane as well to actually keep the season alive. Like a few years ago, um, because of COVID, couldn't even have a grand final. So whatever opportunity comes, like we'll just take it um, and we'll just try our best. So that's why this week we'll just hit the ground running, like train to the standard or even higher than what we've done before so that when it does come to that finals game, then we'll be fit and we'll be ready to go. Brilliant. Thanks, Rochelle. Appreciate it. No worries. Tom from Channel 7. Hi, Rochelle. How are you going? Uh, thanks for chatting. Uh, what's the confidence like in the group? I know that you've been asked about uh, the massive gap uh, between games and you've sort of fired up on that. But uh, what's the confidence like in the group this year that um, you can win that premiership after the heartbreak of last year? Mm. I think because of that heartbreak of last year, like girls are really wanting to step up and not have that same outcome again. So, of course, like once you're winning games, you can be in that space of being like complacent or like thinking, oh, we could have a shot here. But because of that last year, we really want to learn from it and like do our best to get better. So, like, that's why this week we'll try like to train really hard and having like the good mindset of going in that not any game is easy, uh, especially coming up against Frio. It's not going to be an easy game. So, confidence, it's there. But of course, like, cannot be overconfident and like with the miss week we're confident that we can train like hard for this week um at like a game intensity so it doesn't feel like we're missing a game so then when we do go into that finals we can have a bit of that momentum going in excellent thank you ethan uh, ethan lee chalk from the inner sanctum here what kind of lift does chelsea randall provide the team coming back from injury Mm. Chelsea, Chelsea Randall's a great leader. I think just just her presence alone, it can really lift the team. She's someone who's like always positive and just seeing how many like injuries and hardships she's gone through throughout the season, throughout her career. And for her to come back, it's really amazing um, for us to see. And because of her confidence and coming back in, it really lifts the whole team. So Chelsea Randall, she is a big pivotal part of our team. But it's not just her, it's like a lot of other girls as well. And we really look up to her at the same time. So um, all of us like have our role in how we uh, help the team. Of course, like Chelsea is a big one for us. And unfortunately, she did miss out on the grand final last year because uh, of her concussion. But hopefully this year, um, fingers crossed, then um, we'll be even more confident with her coming in as well. Just one more question. Do you have any pre-match pre -match activities or routines to get you into the zone? Are there any traditions or particular things you do to get pumped up for the big game? <laughs> um, not too much because I don't want to rely on it or like freak out if I miss something. Um, I do try to eat the same foods or I'll just like um, be with my sister. Sometimes we pray before the game, things like that, but not too many pre-match things. Otherwise it will get in my head. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much for your time and good luck. No worries. Thank you. Have I missed anyone or does anyone have any other questions? Yeah, I've got a question, Rochelle. Um, Jay's from Channel 10. I'm just wondering, the venue hasn't been locked in yet for mm. the game. Is there any hope that you might be able to play at Adelaide Oval? Obviously, that's where you'll play if you get in the grand final. We'll hopefully be able to play there. Yeah. Is there any hope that you might be able to do that for the prelim? Yeah, well, we're hoping for grand final, uh, oh, sorry, prelim at Adelaide Oval. Um, yeah, at least it's like a home game. Like, that's the main thing for us. Like, very thankful to be able to play in front of our home crowd. Of course, Adelaide Oval would be great. You know, more people can come along, um, just like how we did last year as well. But whatever venue we're at, then we just hope that we can deliver in front of our home fans and people can come and support us at the same time. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. No worries.